Hello there guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm going to be doing a few reviews for you, a couple of reviews and one uh, quick list, okay? Before the month ends, there's going to be the last uh, list of the month of February, which was a shorter month, as usual, uh, every year, right? So hopefully you're doing good, you're in good health. Um, so first fragrance I want to start with is a fragrance from House of Playboy, okay? And I buy these fragrances once in a while, uh, not to really use that much on me. I usually gift away or give it to my brothers or sell it off, either one, you know. Um, but I like to do contents because these fragrances have a lot of demand in market. As you understand, not everybody is uh, rich, you know. <laughs> not everybody has so much money to ex purchase fragrances worth, you know, hundreds of dollars, right? So this fragrance right here is within like $10 budget, uh, $10, $11, $12 depending on the country so fragrance we're going to be looking at today for men it's called king of the game okay i have reviewed quite a few playboy fragrances not quite everything but i think five six at least i don't remember but some of them are really really good vip new york you know i don't remember las vegas perhaps but there are more you know like super playboy super was very good so this fragrance playboy house has both gents and ladies fragrances and this fragrance it's kind of like interesting in a way i'll tell you in a bit why but you always see the bunny, okay? And you guys know Playboy is a magazine and they have a Playboy mansion and there are playmates and stuff like that. You know, that's the usual story and they're very beautiful women. They always go uh, perfect 10 women there and their cover photos, you guys know, right? Playboy. And we always had fantasies about Playboy. So you can see there's a lady standing right behind like a silhouette. Uh, it's a playmate, I guess, with that bunny on top of the head. And uh, it's a 100 ml bottle, EDT concentration. At uh, the back, it says some of the information. I'm not interested in those. It says Playboy there. And the base looks like that. So this is not very old. This is kind of like recent times, but not really brand new, as far as I remember. And here's the bottle. Juice color is very lovely on this. I really like this. Uh, this is the juice color. And this is the bottle. Uh, bottle is very plain and uh, I would say on the simple side because these fragrances are on budget. And they actually do look like budget. The cap is plastic. And the bottle is okay, you know. There's just typical running the run of the mail, running the mail bottles. The juice color is very uh, eye catching. It's kind of like a purplish, dark purple juice color, and uh, it says Playboy engraved on the bottle, and that's about it. So when you take out the cap, Atomizer doesn't have a like a cover here, so it's it's on the budget definitely. Look out the sprayer, look at the sprayer. Sprayer is good. Okay, I capture some on my hand, and let me talk about it. So it someone clicks onto place. Okay, so this fragrance first of all is a budget perfume okay so anybody can afford it i believe if you're into fragrances you can afford it you can find these ab absolutely everywhere like if you go uh, especially on the shopping malls they have a section for you know cosmetics you know or uh, say aftershave or colognes you know they have this kind of general collection that's where you'll see these kind of brands this one david beckham nautica uh, I saw this recent times and I felt like this is a little bit more expensive than what I usually pay for for Playboy. Playboy, is, there's a back, the back and there's also bunny. So uh, Playboy is really go for uh, Bangladeshi taka usually like used to be like 450 to 650 taka. That is like somewhere $80. Now it's more like $10, $12. So price has gone a little bit high, maybe because it's new. Uh, this one I read on somewhere like this is a similar product to YSL Lanuidolome, which piqued my interest. So I paid like two, three dollars more and I got it to review. And I can tell you one thing, it has some similarity definitely to Lanuidolome, but it's not an absolute clone, okay? This one has a mix of few things, fix, few elements. Uh, first element is this one on the opening, you know, let me spray a little bit on my hand. This one, you have to go heavy with the sprayer. If you want longevity, I'll come to this in a bit. But uh, when you spray this, Right up top, you get this nice burst of citrusy sweetness, okay? It's very familiar, very sweet, but not as spicy. It's a mild spicy. It reminds me a little bit of citrus version opening of Armani Coat, a little bit. And definitely has that uh, kind of that Halloween Man X, you know, Azaro Wanted by Night, or something like, yeah, Azaro is the most wanted. You know, those apples. I detect some apple, some pepper, perhaps there's a little bit of cardamom. Definite citrus and fruity uh, green apple, okay? So this is very big in this fragrance. And it's very refreshing, juicy green apple. Uh, to my nose, at least. I don't know what's in it, actually. I forgot, but it's a fruity opening. Very fruity. Reminds me a little bit of Ferrari's Man in Red. You know, that one has red apples. Uh, this one is refreshing. It's not as dark as the juice would suggest. It's a sweet fragrance for the weather, like cloudy, rainy somewhere in between summer and winter that transition it will do really good longevity and projection in playboy fragrance apart from the play playboy vip i think the other ones gave me like three hours 
tops not more than two to three hours that's what i get from it it's like three hours plus like three and a half hours three to fifty three hours and 15 minutes like that so if you go heavy it you get that sort of a performance and for the price i think playboy could increase the performance but i think the smell it's really interesting as the time progresses that cardamom really starts popping out and there's not much lavender in it, just the sweet notes okay it's a sweet note gourmandish uh, and that f- point you feel a little bit of languid alum in this so the heart it's pretty much like close appley or fruity cousin of languid alum with less uh, spices like or less lavender okay so it's more wearable think of like a Halloween Man X mixed with Lanvey Delum a little bit at the base. Very last stage, I get a feel of Playboy's, the ever-known, sweet, playful, uh, that sort of a backbone. It's, it's, it's common in every single Playboy fragrance. And many of the Playboy fragrances remind me of the other ones, you know. So uh, in the line, some of them are not very distinguishable. This one actually is very nice. But if you ask me, like, is it a mind-blowing fragrance that it's like a, that kind of fragrance I once found, you know, like... A, I forgot the name Nike Man. There was a clone of that, of Lanvey Delum. It was good, but not found everywhere. That was really nice. That was pinpoint clone of Lanvey Delum. I have it somewhere. Nike Man, I think. Yeah, I reviewed it. This one, you can give it a try. You know, like if you're on a budget, this is definitely one of the better budget fragrance that I smelled within ten, twelve dollars. Really good value for money. Price and presentation wise, I have no complaint. Um, it is uh, okay for the price. Okay. Longevity, if you have an issue, if you want to spend $10, you will not find that many fragrances of this quality or the smoothness or the smell or even performance-wise, you can find a lot of these others and stuff, but they're not going to be this kind of compliment getter fragrance. These are good for school, off, not office, school, colleges, teenagers, casual usage every day, a little bit with your friends, you're spending time, you'll definitely get noticed. Something like uh, it's a perfect high schooler to call it sense. So very good uh, for budget. Anybody can use it. And I think you'll, uh, if you're wearing this from the first opening one to one and a half hour, you perhaps will pick up compliments, but there's nothing guaranteed with compliments because people are not really same everywhere. Crowd are different. Some people smell you, but they are shy to give you compliments. Sometimes they're not nice people. You know, people don't want to admit you smell nice, right? But it's okay. You will enjoy this fragrance. Give it a try. If you see it, a tester anywhere, it's a good fragrance for its budget. I really like it, but it's not a pinpoint clone of Lanvey Delum. But you can say it's a Halloween Man X sort of mixes with Lanvey a little bit of 1 million-ish. This fragrance, I'll give it uh, what for what it is. For the budget segment, I'll give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. Check it out. Really nice smell. If you like green apples, give it a try. Time to move on to the second review. Then we'll do the list. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.